I want another medical. Healthcare. Siblings. Lawrence! Hey, Lawrence. Uh, let's do the hotel. Hope goes through an empty town with no supplies to be found and little zombie activity. One small hotel seems to have more undead roaming through it than the rest. The zombie forecast is storm size sparse, aggression calm, current time, late afternoon. What does she have? A frying pan! I love it! Ooh, Lawrence with the gun. That's burger and a side table burger medical supplies let's go okay this is the right spot hey an eyeball come on Lawrence Bathroom burgers. Okay, let's get out of here, Lawrence. Not bad. Uh, the group camps at a small gym. The group eats a decent meal. Gym's full of ancient... Oh, yes. Let's do that. Let's work out. The group gets a good workout. We lose a whole bunch of food, but we gain fitness. We have one food left. Okay, we need more food. The group loots a dentist office, finding some leftover medical supplies and some technically edible tubes of toothpaste. Lawrence goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. Pick a magazine. Flirt of the sense of soul. Slub snooze. Questionable science. Yeah, let's do that. Lawrence feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now that civilization is, civilization is more or less destroyed, it was still a pretty entertaining magazine. Got more food, more medical supplies. The group drives through a city that hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies to stock up for your journey. The zombie forecast is more storm size, mild, aggression, sluggish, for time, afternoon. Probably the bar has more food for us. Like a really
Come on. Oh, only Poopa Doodoo. Let's get out of here. Alright, that looks like it was it. We in. No, stop hitting the vehicle. Get in. <laughs> I feel like I didn't go to the bar. Whatever. We got lots of ammo. <laughs> it is what it is. Crip is sitting around a campfire finding this campsite was rough. So they're getting in a bad mood. Oh no. Lawrence planned out tomorrow. Lawrence plans out the next day. It's a good use of time. It helps them focus on the big picture. Thanks. The group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board on the kitchen table. It's a common game used to communicate with the ghosts. These things are rumored to be incredibly cursed with bad luck, so beware. Still, maybe worth asking a question. Where's the loot? Who will betray the team? Will we make it to Canada? Will we make it to Canada? Ouija board points the word no with amazing speed. Then it points to no game while somehow catching on fire. Whatever. These things are always wrong. Anyway, Ash throws the flaming Ouija board across the room. This makes her also catch on fire. It was good exercise, at least. Oh, there's a dog wandering nearby. It's keeping its distance, but watching the group with guarded entrance becomes rare to see a dog that trusts people you have zero food left. So try to recruit it. But we don't have any food. Yeah, there wasn't enough food. Oh, I wanted the puppy. <laughs> so he's covered with hordes of undead and wreckage that has been touched by a previous fire. The group gets surrounded. Their only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Zombie forecast, swarm size, mild aggression, hunting, current time, elite night. Oh, we got lots of ammo. Okay, let's go. Ah, there's the ladder. Let's get out! Woo! Who oh. feels inspired after managing to survive that situation? Let's do morale. The campground that the group sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is complete. Mr. endured the smell. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning. They still are able to sleep. Oh, their morale is not doing too good. And our car died. And we're on foot. And we're grumpy. But walking Lawrence doesn't notice a hole in his... Backpack Lawrence? Oh no. By the time he realizes that there have been hours of up Oh man, our supplies! Group so it's a bakery van that has broken down on the side of the road. The van is irreparable, but the bread is moldy and edible. But there are some sugar cakes are still good. Oh, thank goodness. The group is walking through the countryside and it stumbles up burnt cars with zombies roaming around them. It's a good opportunity to check if when the car still works. So my forecast is swarm size moderate. Aggression calm. Current time late afternoon. Okay, let's investigate.
very little. Lawrence demands Ashley as Lawrence says that he will take the car. Surprise. Now you get out, Lawrence. Lawrence gets kicked out of the group instead of Ash. Ash smells a little. <laughs> well, at least my morale went up. It's just another day on death row when someone farts in the car. Who could have done this? We may never, ever know. I'm the only person in the car. While driving on death road, Ash decides to make a stop for supplies. Uh, we'll go to the museum. Ash drives close to the museum. It must have been popular as the undead are out in droves. Signs of banners outside advertise Call of Guns Modern Gunfire 20 exhibit. The zombie forecast is swarm size very thick. Aggression irritated at current time near sunset, and it's just me. <laughs> There's like legit nothing in here. This is where I die. How do I get out? Yep, I'm doomed. Look at all of them, there's no way. Oh my gosh. Yes, get me out of here. Find someone that can do medical. It sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. She discovers edible berry bushes. Let's get gather uh -huh. berries. She picks berries all night and puts them into whatever containers are handy. Not more food. But I'm tired now. It has started to rain. Oh no. Something's become more aggressive in response. For a reason that I'm not gonna explain. Some forecast is swarm size moderate, aggression irritated, current time afternoon. Uh, police station, we need more bullets. as quick as possible. Oh, damn. All right. I did not make it to Canada. I tried so many times. Oh, my goodness. 